the recognized symbol of excellence for your entertainment. Season's greetings, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, however you want to say it, from Machino Music Film. Welcome to Machino Music Music, the show that puts some music in Machino Music, with your host, me, Brett Strong. Today on Machino Music Music, it's Christmas time here at the program, and I'll be talking about some of my favorite Christmas albums. Ooh, the knee gave out there. All right, here we go. Christmas albums, season's greetings, happy holidays, merry Christmas, however you want to say it. That's what we're doing today. Got this bin. It's a little... But yeah, this has got my Christmas cheer, eggnog, I and mean, you can see that. It is actually eggnog. Ah. Noggy. Actually, you know, they, they've been saying that uh, Pepsi, to put uh, Pepsi in your milk this holiday season to make pilk. I thought, hey, what the hell? Why don't I make Pepnog? Live here. Nothing nothing says Pepsi. I think I probably put too much in. Uh, hell with it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Shake it around. Get it all mixed in. <sighs> oh, man. That's... Ooh. You're all waiting for me to take out a flask and put some rum in this, but uh, ooh, hey, not being a drinker, <laughs> I think this kind of makes me want to start. Ooh. It's going to end up in the toilet one way or another. All right, let's, some crowd. let's start with this. Gwen Stefani's. Christmas album from 2017. Absolutely love this. Love Gwen Stefani. Always been a Gwen Stefani fan from her No Doubt days to now. And look at her. She's just a goddess. Look at that. Talked about her on the New Wave episode when she was just playing Jane, first No Doubt album. Look at her here. She's just so gorgeous. But yeah, so good. Love this. This has a lot of Christmas covers. Jingle Bells, Let It Snow. Silent Night, White Christmas, but she does some of her own original tunes as well. When I Was a Little Girl, it's a good song. She has a cover of Last Christmas. Actually, I just lost Whamageddon as I was getting ready to do this. You know, you're not supposed to hear, you tr or you try as hard as you can not to hear the Wham song, Last Christmas. Cover tunes are okay, so, you know, I could have, you know, the Wen Stefani version, just fine. I can hear it. And I've heard it already this year, but I just lost. I can't not pay attention to the music. If there's music on, I gotta hear. I gotta hear the music. I can't, because you're not supposed to recognize a song. You know, and then you've lost once you've already recognized what the song is. That's like telling me it's like my job to just hear music. So, yeah, I lost Whamageddon, but it's okay. Fine. I'm going to make it through one year at some point where I don't hear that song. The Wham version. Okay. But, yeah, this is a great album. Love it. Yeah, just love Gwen Stefani. Such a fun album. Oh, the CD's even out of here. It's not even here because I've been listening to it. Love it. Rod Stewart, of course, talked about us I did a Rod Stewart show. <laughs> I don't know why Rod Stewart makes me laugh. Uh, but yeah, Rod Stewart. Uh, his Christmas album, there he is. Like, contractual obligation to do a Christmas album. But uh, yeah, have yourself a merry little Christmas. All standards. 
Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Merry Christmas, baby. Yeah, duet with CeeLo Green. Man, every time I see, I think of CeeLo Green, it's like, man, the hell, that guy dropped right the hell off the face of the earth. Nobody talks about him anymore. Gnarls Barkley. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. What are you doing New Year's Eve? Duet with uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good album. I enjoy this one. Rod Stewart's Christmas album. God, niche. I think I need some more eggnog. Or pepnog. Oh. Oh, man. I don't know why that... Why the hell is this in that? Slayer. Seasons in the Abyss and with these Christmas albums. <laughs> wow. It's a good album. It's my favorite Slayer album. Yeah. Nothing says Christmas. I think it's red. You know, red. Nothing says Christmas like the color red. And nothing says Christmas like Slayer. You know, uh, Gallagher, the comedian from the age just recently passed away. This is a tangent I'm going on here. And there was this photo that, I, that just sort of certain that Wikipedia has it right on Gallagher's uh, entry there. Where it's, it's, it's like a teenager outside a uh, Gallagher concert getting his head signed by Gallagher. Because, you know. And he's wearing a, a, a Slayer shirt. So Slayer fans were big Gallagher fans. It's like, Slayer! Gallagher! Yeah, it's like the same people. You know, and like Sam Kinison at that time was like the, the heavy metal, the rock and roll comedian. It was Gallagher. He was the metal comedian, Mr. Sledge-O-Matic. Leo Sledge-O-Matic Gallagher. Yeah. He's up or down. I don't know where he is, but uh, may he uh, rest in peace wherever he is. But yeah, this ended up in here. I don't know. What the hell. Got to talk about Slayer. Uh, this is just one of those compilations, Seasons Greetings 2. So many songs left off of Seasons Greetings 1. So you need the sequel. Yeah, this is just a lot of old standards. Oh man, that's. There's the. There's the, there's the pep nog talking back to me. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer by Temptations is on here. Uh, Frankie Av I'll Be Home for Christmas by Frankie Avalon. I wonder if he's, I can't remember, I don't know if he, he sings Presents on the Tree. A lot of people sing Presents on the Tree. Who puts Presents on the Tree? Especially if they're top heavy, they'll just fall, the troll damn tree will fall over. You can't put Presents on the Tree. But she's like, just, just, just weigh it down, and the whole gap, and the whole damn thing comes down, you know? Like, the presents under the tree. Jazz guys can slip in, you know, get more jazzy. Cheryl Crow, she does presents under the tree on her version of, uh, of uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas. I've heard some others. Too. Yeah, yeah. This hat, I think it's the dangly thing, it's getting up my nose. Yeah, this is not bad. Don't mind this. Season's greetings. Too. All right, here, what else we have in here? Oh, here's James Taylor at Christmas. Did a uh, takeoff on this for season one of uh, Features of the Night. There's the uh, photo right there. Screenshot. Or screamshot, as we were calling them for that series. That's me doing my best, James Taylor, for the uh, Christmas episode of Season 1 of uh, Features of the Night in the archives here at Machino Music. But yeah, I love this. This is a really good album. I, a, I love James Taylor. And, uh, you know, he did a pretty good Christmas album. He did a song called Some Children See You. Referring to Santa Claus, because some children stay up all night when they should be, in, should be asleep. And then they see mommy kissing Santa Claus and then have questions the next day. 
Or maybe they see Daddy kissing Santa Claus and then they really have questions. But yeah, love this. Did he write that song? No, he didn't. I don't think he wrote any of these. I think it's like all covers because James Taylor's a great songwriter. And he's just like, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do these cover tunes. Yeah, he does uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's not the name of the song. That's just, I just want to call it chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Now here's the Elvis Presley Christmas album. This is the crappy one. I have the other, the better one. Where's the better one? It's in here somewhere. Yeah, this is the better one. The one that came out a few years ago. 2017 as well. Yeah, this is the uh, with the Royal uh, Philharmonic uh, Orchestra. It's just the classic Christmas album because this one, this I don't know if this is the original, but it had this has the attack on at the end. Mama like the roses, drony horrible song. I love Elvis Presley. He can do no wrong. He could do no wrong. He's been dead for since 1977, but uh, he could do. Uh, but they put this song, it's not even a Christmas song, it's just about like the mom dying and the kids bringing her flowers on her deathbed and it's like, not a Christmas, I don't want to hear about that, it's like that stupid song um, that Elvis did, the uh, Don't Cry Daddy. What are these songs about the, the parents being sick and dying? I don't want to hear that crap, come on. I want to hear, you know, they singing Jailhouse Rock. I don't sing, you know, I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. But, and this are Christmas songs. This is Elvis doing Christmas songs. Blue Christmas, one of the greatest Christmas songs ever. That opens this, and then you get Mama Like the Roses. Yeah, Mama Like the Roses, but we don't need to hear Mama when she like the roses because it's a sad song, and I don't want to think sad things during Christmas time. So Elvis can screw off with this copy, but this one's great. It's got more, this, this has got like 10 tracks. This has 13 tracks. And no mama like the roses. So yeah, love it. Twisted Sister Christmas album, a twisted Christmas. I really enjoy this. This was their last album as a band. They went out on a Christmas album. And Lita Ford sings I'll Be Home for Christmas with a duet with Dee Snyder. And uh, she sings presents under the tree and she doesn't even really have the jazz vibe going on and I got Burl Ives here the very best of Burl Ives Christmas there he is without the hat Sam the snowman yeah, he does Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, probably the most famous version, next to the uh, original Gene Autry version. But uh, yeah, this is a famous because it's from the little 1964 animated Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, I, I think of Burl Ives. I see in the movie. I think of the movie Two Moon Junction, where he plays like an old like Southern sheriff, and he's kind of racist says some uh, naughty words and then you think of me the Christmas album this is look at this guy this guy would never say things like that I don't know now you got Chicago Christmas Chicago great band I gotta have some more of the Very medicinal tasting, actually. Ugh. That better get me through uh, flu season, let me tell you. Yeah, this is a good album. Like Chicago. Some good versions of these songs. Very kind of light, put it on. Got a couple in here I made myself. Just some compilation. Because you see, we used to do this. It's like mixtapes, but I made my own for Christmas. 
Yeah. It's pretty fun ones on here. Uncle Bernie's Farm by Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. That's a Christmas tune. Doesn't sound like but listen to it. It's a Christmas tune. Very out there Christmas tune, but it's a Christmas tune. Oh, I have Last Christmas done by Hilary Duff on here. The cover, cover versions are okay. You won't lose Whamageddon listening to the cover versions. But I lost already because I heard the Wham version. Christmas Time is here. Ray Parker Jr., the Ghostbusters man. Ow, who you gonna call? Well, this, one has, this one has 2,000 Miles by The Pretenders. Beautiful song. Love that. Yeah. Those ones I made myself. Some of these are just like these garbage compilations. Like I don't even know what this is. This is like this has French on it. I don't know if it's all if it's in front. Well, see in Canada we just put French on stuff because you know it's like we want people to know that we have two official languages. Yeah. Okay. Well, Susie Snowflake. I'll be home Christmas. This is like all the old crooners. Rosemary Clooney, Johnny Mathis, Andy Williams, Julie Andrews, Doris Day. Yeah. I'm going to be blasting this, let me tell you. This is one of those ones from Sears. Actually, Sears has gone out of business, but they do these like little things like... Oh, hey, look, we made a Christmas album that you can buy. Buy this bedding and you'll get this, uh, we'll throw in this free Christmas album. But yeah, I have Ringo Starr, Christmas Time is Here Again, one of the most repetitive songs. There's really nothing to it. Elton John, Step Into Christmas is on here. Uh, Christmas with the Beach Boys, one of my favorites. Love this album. Beach Boys Christmas album. So good. I love the Beach Boys. This is one of my favorite. 25 tracks on this. A lot of them are just like uh, like Christmas messages they would have done like for radio promos and stuff. And like different versions, which are just like, okay. But yeah, you gotta hear the originals. I mean, yeah, Little Saint Nick, classic. Santa's Beard. The Man with All the Toys. Like, so many different versions of Little Saint Nick, because that's like their classic uh, uh, Hot Rod and Santa song. Because the Beach Boys, they got to sing about cars. But yeah, great. Love this. Probably should stop there. I'm just going to take the rest of this. So there you go, there's some Christmas albums to talk about in here. I'm going to go through all of them because we'll be here all day. But, uh, but yeah. Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings, Merry Christmas, however you want to say it. Welcome to the Holidays. That's it for this week. Until we meet again, this is Brett Strong saying Happy Holidays and Good Journey. Brett Strong here representing Machino Music Films. I just wanted to come on to wish you and yours happy holidays, seasons, greetings, merry Christmas, however you want to say it, from all of us here at Machino Music Film.